Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to create a temperature tower test in Cura. Alright, let's get to it. So before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to Lance Piara for being my newest supporter on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support, Lance. It means so much to me. So unlike the process I covered in my last Temp Tower video, where we have to add in our own script for each one of the temperature changes, we're actually going to be using a really cool plugin that's going to do 90% of that work for us. And to get that plugin, you're just going to open up Cura and go up to Marketplace. And then it might take a minute for this window to load, but once it comes in, just scroll down until you see the plugin called Calibration Shapes. Click on that and hit install. Once that finishes, close out of this window and close down Cura and then reopen it. It's really important that you close out Cura and restart it after installing a plugin because that will initialize that plugin. So real quick, I wanna give credit to a channel called Cytron Tech. They're actually where I first heard about this plugin. You can find their video down below. It's really great. It goes over what you can do with this plugin. Um, there's a couple of things I just kinda wanted to elaborate on a little bit more, which is why I'm making my own video about it. So once you have the plugin installed, you can come up to extensions and then go down to part calibration. And in here, you'll have a new menu that you can bring in all kinds of different uh, tests for testing out retraction and bridging. Um, so what we're gonna do for this example is we're gonna go up to add PLA temp tower. And then once you bring that model in, just go up to extensions, then to post-processing, modify G-code. Then you're gonna add a script. And then in this window, there's a ton of really cool options for different tests, but we're gonna scroll down until you see Temp Fan Tower and click on that. And the beauty of this plugin is that it makes this process really simple. So our entire Temp Tower is now gonna be controlled by this one script. So for this whole tower, the only settings we have to adjust are these four here. You can leave the Active Fan Tower box unchecked. So now we have to figure out what information to put in here, and that's actually really easy. Just close this window and slice your model. And then as far as settings go, I'm just using the standard profile in Cura for a 0.2 millimeter layer height. So once you have the model sliced, zoom in a little bit so you can see what you're doing, and then use the layer view to scroll all the way down to the very bottom layer. From there, make sure that this blue dot is highlighted, and then use the up arrow to see how many layers are in the base. So on this model, we can see that the test begins at the fifth layer. You can see as I move up and down here, those two blocks on either side are where I think the test is starting, and that's where the base ends. So now we know that our base is made up of four layers, and from here we're gonna scroll all the way up to the top. Now from here, subtract the number of layers that make up the base from the total layer number here. If you're following along with this model, that should be 374. And then you're gonna take that number and divide it by the number of temperature changes that your tower has. So you can see this tower has nine different temperatures, so that's what we're gonna divide our number by. Then once you have all those numbers worked out, click on this symbol down here to bring this window back up. And then from here, it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna plug in the numbers we came up with. So our test starts at 220. We know that it decreases in increments of five degrees. And then here is where we're gonna tell Cura that we want it to change temperature every 41 layers. And then just a quick recap, you get this number by subtracting the number of layers in the base from the total number of layers, and then dividing that number by however many temperature changes you have in your tower. And for this one, that's gonna be 41. And then for this last one, you're just going to put in the number of layers that you figured out the base was. And we know for this model, that number is going to be four. Now, before slicing the model, there's one more thing you have to do. Close out of this window, go up to your settings, and go down under Material. And then from here, make both Printing Temperature and Printing Temperature Initial Layer match whatever the first temperature of your test tower is. With this model, it's 220. And that's it. Go ahead and slice your test, put it on your SD card, and get it over to your printer. Just make sure that before you slice another model, bring up this window and click on this X to get rid of this script. Otherwise, everything you slice after this will have that same temperature increase. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel and I really appreciate it. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to support the channel, you can find my Patreon information down below. Alright, let's go print something. <laughs> 